Okay, next, Stuart Smith. Two minutes, sir. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Mr. Feinberg. Good morning. Uh, I have a little different question, a little different issue. Um, I am a lawyer in New Orleans, and I'm representing some um, non-governmental organizations who are responding to this bill, <laughs> such as the Louisiana Environmental Action Network. Uh, they have incurred significant costs um, in responding to this bill, such as taking tests and environmental samples on behalf of their constituents. And I don't see a line item on your claim form for those for those response costs, which are allowed under the Oil Pollution Act. And so my question is, is your claim facility going to be handling non-governmental organization response costs? If it's actually related to removal and cleanup, it's covered, that's clear. As long as you're not a governmental agency or a governmental entity. Sure. The question is whether testing and, and um, um, trying to determine uh, purity of the water and everything. I can't say. I mean, it sounds like a technical question. I'll have to check. A lot of my clients have come to me and said, well, I don't have all this paperwork, and we don't have this. And I tell them that the Department of Labor and other governmental uh, agencies publish what these people have the capacity to earn, whether they have income tax records or not. Uh, and my question is, are you using federal government capacity uh, uh, statistics to establish what their war earning capacity is. You know, is. it's an interesting point. We did that in 9-11, and I see no, I don't know whether we're doing it now or not, but we should be. We ought to be considering that. Again, on both these issues, in terms of whether the uh, non-governmental agencies constitute um, removal and cleanup, and whether we can validate claims through statistical analysis, uh, get in touch with us by email or by letter. Okay. Let me look at this right away, both issues. Okay, thank, thank you. you.